What's going on, Duval? It's your boy UCF Jaguar, and we are officially in day seven of NFL free agency, and we are already being praised nationally as being free agency winners. Now, what I, re I really like what they did on the defensive side of the ball. However, I'm still very concerned with what's going to go on with our offensive line. So let's discuss. So a lot of Jaguar fans are really excited with what happened over free agency because they think it makes it look like we're probably going to be getting Leonard Fournette with the fourth pick. But I would have to disagree with that because I think that, say for example, if we were to have not signed AJ Boyd to this contract and went with a cheaper option to get Prince of Mukamara, and then we allocated that money to getting Zeitler a new left guard, then I would have maybe been a little bit more confident about getting Leonard Fournette. But in order to get better in the run game, you have to get better offensive linemen. And if you look at the transactions that we made, we had an upgrade in getting a new left tackle in Brandon Albert. But other than that, we really did not get much elite, not necessarily elite, but much great help when it comes to interior offensive linemen. I thought this was going to be a big focus in free agency, and they are going to try to go out and get one of the big kind of guard, uh, guards out there on the market, like a Zeitler or a Leary, but they simply did not do that. If you look at the new guys we signed to this team, all these guys in my eyes are pretty much backups. Earl Watford's a guy who's gotten starts in Arizona due to injury. He actually started 10 games last year at tackle. And Greg Van Ron's a guy who's been bouncing around the league for a good bit, and he's gotten most of his playing experience through the Canadian Football League. So going back to what I said at the beginning of the video about how these free agency moves make me feel like we're not going to be getting a running back at number four is because of a few things. Last year we had a really good defense, but... What I think was holding us back from setting our defense over the top was the fact that we never really had a good pass rush. We added Calais Campbell, but adding that one player I don't think is necessarily going to fix all our pass rush problems. I think we need, to, we need to draft one more edge rusher to really try to solidify that pass rush we have going on between Calais Campbell, Malik Jackson, Dante Fowler, and Yannick Ngakwe. And on the offensive side of the ball, I thought our run blocking was awful, and I thought our interior offensive line was just not very good. I mean, you saw us at left guard. It was pretty much a revolving door at that position. And then A.J. Cannon and Jeremy Parnell on the right side just wasn't doing too well. And that's one big reason why I thought we were going to bring in one of, these guys, one of these big market kind of guards. Because when you look at the draft to fix this problem, if you're a regular team in a draft and you want to be good, your first round pick, you want to be on the field starting. But the guys that you draft in the second round and later, you want them to kind of sit, sit it toward the beginning of the year and slowly put them in games to get experience because from day one, these guys aren't ready to start. But being that there's no offensive lineman worthy of that number four pick, I don't, I don't know where to look to upgrade this position anymore just because all the top of the market guys have been taken. So with that said, first round, I definitely think we're going to go defensive end. I think we're going to get either Solomon Thomas or Jonathan Allen. And then in round two, we're going to have to get some kind of interior offensive lineman. So say Patrick Omame is starting left guard to begin the year. And then after four games, he proves to be Patrick Omame himself. And then from there, we can plug in whatever second or third round pick we choose at the offensive line. Now, with all that said, I'm not saying that it's not possible that we grab Leonard Fournette at number four. However, when you look at our list of needs, we need to get another edge rusher because we have to get a dominant pass rush in to help out our cornerbacks and help our team get more turnovers, which we've been dying to have the last few years. And like I said in this video, we still need some more interior offensive linemen. I think we'd need at least one more starter out of that, out of that spot. And we also need another versatile tight end. Who can, who is good at run blocking and can go out and catch, catch passes well too. And the first four rounds of the draft are the parts of the draft where you really want to hit on the players that you get. You want your top four guys to contribute in a big way and eventually start on the team. I think the way it's looking at the free agency, the Jaguars are going to get one pass rusher, probably get two linemen, just any kind of lineman that's had experience playing around the, playing around the line, whether it be interior or at tackle, and we're going to be getting a tight end. What's really disappointing with just what happened to free agency because I guess the guards that were in play were out of the Jaguars market and I really wanted to try to grab a player that we can, we can get and we can plug him into the starting lineup day one. 
But being that Doug Rohn was the offensive line coach last year, maybe he has a little more confidence in the line than we do. But last offseason, the Jaguars pretty much decided to not only disregard the offensive line, but disregard the offense as a whole. And I really hope disregarding the offensive line this free agency isn't going to bite us in the butt. With all that said, thanks so much for watching my video. Let me know what you guys think we're going to do at that interior offensive line spot. Do you think one of these new free agents that we signed are going to be starting there? Do you think Omame or Tyler Shatley are going to be starting there? Or do you think we're going to be drafting a guy to plug and play there day one? So go Jaguars and Duval!